Welcome to Module 2 of the Casper Certification course. In this module, you will learn how to set up a local network for development and testing. The tool that you will learn is called NCTL and the acronym stands for Network Control. NCTL is a CLI application you can use to set up and control multiple local Casper networks. Many developers wish to spin up relatively small networks to localize their testing. Adopting a standardized approach in the community is also helpful for troubleshooting and for reporting issues. The prerequisites for this module are the Getting Started tutorial, which shows you how to install your development environment, including tools like CMake, Cargo, and Rust. You also need to have Python 3 installed. Many operating systems come with Python, but if yours does not, you can find it at python.org. You will also need the Bash shell. We will show you how to run NCTL in a virtual environment. If you want to run it at the system level, you can, but we recommend that you only do that if you are sure you know what you are doing. First, you will need to install a set of tools required for NCTL. The first step is to install pip, a package manager for Python. Pip comes with Python 3, and if you do not have it already, you can follow these steps. You can find the complete installation instructions, including steps for other operating systems, at the link provided. Here is my version of pip. So it is 21.0.1 at the time of this recording. Step 2. Install package config, a program used to compile and link against one or more libraries. I have it already installed, but I will try again and see which version I have. So there you go, it's up to date and the version is 0.29.2. In step 3, install either libssl-dev for Linux or OpenSSL for macOS. These are toolkits for the transfer layer security and secure sockets layer protocols. They also serve as general purpose cryptography libraries. So I have OpenSSL installed, but I will try it again. In step 4, you need to install the GCC and G++ compilers. These compilers usually come as part of the developer command line tools. On macOS, you can install the developer tools with Xcode, and on Linux, you need to install the build essential package. And on my system, I will check the version. Okay, so everything looks good. In step 5, you are ready to create and activate a new virtual environment. The commands applicable to the virtual environment will be prefixed with env. Run the following commands on both macOS and Linux to set it up. Inside the environment, you will need to upgrade pip to the latest version. So I will do the same thing on my machine.
All right, let's carry on. There are three more tools to install before running NCTL. In step seven, install JQ, which is a command line JSON processor. In step eight, install supervisor, a cross-platform process manager. And finally, in step nine, install Tomo, a configuration file parser. And I'll try to do the same on my machine. Wonderful. We can move on. You are now ready for setting up and running your local network of Casper nodes. In step 10, clone the Casper node launcher in your working directory. It is very important to choose a short path. Otherwise, the NCTL tool will report that the path is too long. Next, clone the Casper node in your working directory. And I will clone the Casper node launcher. And second, I will clone the Casper node. In step 12, navigate to your Casper node directory and invoke the bash shell. NCTL needs this shell to run certain commands. Also, activate the NCTL environment as part of this step. So on my machine, I will go to the Casper node directory. I will invoke bash and I will activate the NCTL environment. Okay, we can move on. In step 13, we need to compile the NCTL binary sets. The NCTL compile command compiles both the Casper node and the Casper client in release mode. This command takes a while to complete, so I will show you the start of the command on my machine, and with the magic of video editing, I will return with the results. The NCTL compile completed successfully and we can now move to the next section. So in step 14, you can set up the assets required to run the network. And then you need to start the network. The assets include binaries, the blockchain specification and configuration, the main faucet account and the required keys. It is best to execute these commands one after the other. This is the command line output you would expect. The default NCTL network has 10 nodes with five active nodes and five inactive nodes. Once the network is up and running, you can control each node within the network and add new nodes if you wish. Several other NCTL commands are available via aliases for execution, and they are documented in GitHub. All these commands are prefixed by NCTL and allow you to perform various tasks. Although not always necessary, it is useful to know how to stop and to clean the NCTL setup 
using the nctl stop and clean commands. Congratulations for completing module 2. You are now equipped to explore the various nctl commands and the nctl usage guide. This is it for now, until next time.